he's not my friend. I don't like him. I'll, I'll teach him how to box. And if he loses focus for a second, I will be in range and I will put his lights out. So Chesse Rabondi, listen up, man. Stay focused. If you did any funny thing in the last eight weeks, I will find out in that ring. I promise you, I promise you, bro. Hello, Vinaka. Good evening and welcome to Time Sport. Yes, this is a new show only for sports action here in Fiji. And of course, uh, big things happening this month coming up with uh, the Super Rugby Pacific match. Of course, the Swazi Shipping Fijian Rua taking on the Reds uh, in a couple of days at the HFC Bank Stadium. But tonight it's about boxing. Everyone's eyes on the promotion next week. Of course, in the main bout or at the FM 2023 FMF Fiji Boxing Series under the 2i Boxing uh, banner. We have Winston Hill taking on Chese Ravundi. We spoke to Ravundi last month and everyone saw how hyped up he was to take on Hill. For Hill, of course, it's his second bout in the professional era. Uh, everyone knows he has more than 100 fights in the amateur division. Well, everyone doesn't know that, but he has more than 110 fights in the amateur division. Winning more than 100 of it, that's an amazing record in the amateur field. And uh, he turned professional after turning 29. And of course, he has only one fight in the professional era where he beat Ratura Koro at his own promotion, uh, winning in the second round by technical knockout. And tonight with us, we have the man himself, Winston Hill, to speak uh, more about himself and uh, his fight uh, next week. And also with us this uh, evening is uh, uh, Alan Kumar, the promoter for... Uh, to a boxing promotion series. Gentlemen, thank you for taking out your time. Thank you, uh, thank you for being part of this show. Winston, we'll get straight into it. Uh, Pacific Games, uh, silver medalist, Olympic uh, participation at the 2016 Rio Olympics. You have a Commonwealth uh, bronze as well. Taking a step into uh, professional boxing, uh, beating Ratu Rokuro, and right into the champion himself, uh, Chese Ravundi. How, how, how was the journey? Boxing has been, uh, well, first off, thank you so much for having me on the show. And uh, to Alan, thank you for having me on the program. Thank you. Uh, how has been the journey? Uh, boxing has been a tunnel vision for me for the last decade. I've been uh, boxing through the amateur ranks for nine years, um, accumulating um, over 100 fights, a wealth of experience uh, that, uh, that I get to show on uh, on the 10th of June. So, um, you know, this is all too familiar. Although it's a 10 round fight, approaching this fight is the same that I would approach any fight, whether the Olympics or a local club tournament. Um, it's 100% committed from training, nutrition, hydration, rest and recovery. Everything is, um, is done in fine detail. Mm. Uh, going back to Chese, he's, uh, he's said a lot of things. He's quite hyped, hyped up about it. Uh, of course, you you've also you, you haven't been quiet as well. There's uh, there's a lot of people talking about this fight. Why why so early? Why so early to fight Chese? Yeah. I'm turning 30. Um, I started boxing at the late age of 21. So it's uh, it's sort of a build-up and something that I've anticipated for so many years. Why so early? There aren't many boxes in our division um, for me to compete against, uh, to rise to the ranks or to, to uh, improve my rankings. Uh, so in beating Ratu Raku Rondani Pavana, I was able to uh, be number one contender to the title. And um, as you might know, and many might not know, the uh, Chese had been holding this title for the last four years. By law, he should have been defending it every nine months. Um, of course, he's had a longer term holding this title. So uh, at this point in time, this is supposed to be a vacant title uh, that we're fighting for um, if we're looking at it by the books. But uh, he's been able to hold on to the title for four years. Um, and I, I think it's about time that he's uh, put it on the line. I'm coming in very prepared. I would say that I have not prepared this much for a fight than I ever have, you know, accumulating all of the knowledge, experience and wisdom that I have over the last decade of boxing into this one training camp. I am totally dialed in, bro. Like, I'm excited and 
I'm excited to put on a good show, uh, represent the uh, brands and the companies that uh, that stand by me, um, AFL, we've got Totally, uh, which are kidding me out with some sick anime merch, um, 5 Pratt Street, if you guys want to check it out, um, I'm selling it, I'm selling it. Cool. Uh, Chesse has uh, 20 bouts under his belt already, he's quite, a, quite an experienced boxer in the professional arena that is. Uh, he has fought 94 rounds compared to your two, which uh, of course did not complete. You did not complete the two rounds. You knocked him out in the second round. Do you think uh, that would matter come June 10th? You know, truly, I I, I don't think uh, his experience comes into play. Um, and I say this from experience. Um, you can be a good boxer, but if training and preparation isn't ideal. Um, there's a lot of factors that uh, that come into play as soon as you step into the ring. Um, so you know he may be a good boxer against uh, his previous opponents, but uh, he may not be the same boxer coming into this one. I'm coming in expecting the best version of Chesser Vundi. Um, Chesser Vundi is prime. He knows he's in for a very tough fight. I'm coming in fully prepared. Leaving no stones unturned. I'm hungry, bro. I'm hungry. <coughs> I want to give the people a very good fight. And uh, he said he's going to take me to deep waters. <laughs> I've been swimming, bro. I've been swimming. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, you know, I actually want to say this because as a, as a fighter, I respect him uh, for strapping on the leather, stepping into the boxing ring and, you know, fighting for whatever reason he's fighting for. Um, I don't like him. Like, he's not my friend. I don't like him. There are some things that he has done in the past for me not to like him. I kind of like a lot of people. But this is one person that I don't like. And uh, I'll, I'll teach him how to box. And if he wants to brawl, I'll teach him how to brawl. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be a masterclass overall. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, people are in for a, for a very good show. Um, I hope it lasts, Alan. I hope it lasts the full ten rounds, um, so that people get what they're paying for. So, uh, so yeah, I, I hope he comes in prepared. I'm, I'm ready for the best version of Chesse. And uh, yeah, let's let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> now, for for the viewers, I, I've known Winston for more than ten years. I was there when he fought at the Olympics. I've never seen him this hyped up. I've never I've never heard him speak words like this. Uh, Winston, we'll let you see him for a while. We'll go to Ellen for the time being. Ellen, uh, big fight, big uh, bouts in the evening. Uh, the build-up has been awesome, I guess, for you as a promoter. Uh, thank you for having us to here today. Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsor, FMF, for making this possible. Uh, as a personal note, not as a promoter, I believe for all this while, this is the best bout, main bout. And to make this possible, I thank these two gentlemen, Mr. Winston and Chesse Ramundi, for coming, accepting. And uh, this is something you give back to the public, from boxing fans are waiting for. And as you said, it's hype, not only Winston is hype, Chesse is hype, going to deep waters or whatever they are saying. Public, everywhere I go, everywhere I go. I'm receiving calls from Sabu Sabu, Lambasa, even overseas, they want to buy tickets for the families out here. They want to see a showcase of real boxing, a real boxing, like Olympian going against the defending champion. Holding belt for four years, well, experience, he says, experience doesn't matter, but come down 10 June, it will be one of the epic battles, I would say. It's a main bout for the public, this is something for people, even people who are not following boxing as well. Even the ladies were calling me asking the cover will be sell, or the drinks will be there, then to come and enjoy because you know the caliber boxers of Chesse and Winston are. Mm. So they, they are here to display the best and give the best. It's all about two gentlemen coming in the field on the ring the night and giving the best to win. So end of day, for fans, this is a win-win situation for you. Come out in numbers, support the boxers. This might be a stepping stone to a world title, who knows? Hmm. Ellen, after Winston made his debut last September at his own promotion, uh, there were many people who wanted to see this uh, Chesse versus uh, Winston fight. Winston could have easily fought at, his one, of, at one of his promotions and uh, you know, created this hype and made the money, of course. How did you make him agree to fight on your promotion? Uh, I would say this, this is a miracle. Uh, God's timing. It uh, connects actually a main bout with Mr. James uh, Singh. He was in the main bout and actually he signed with Winston already. So we didn't want to cross part because we have good relationship. So he, 
the night that the fight that happened Kieran promotion in Nandi that a uh, few months back there's the night after the folding day I have to make a decision so I came back and had a discussion with uh, me, Mr. Winston why not we get Chesse are you ready he said I'm ever ready not even June baby do it in April he said he was ever ready at time he was hype up that time as well so I went with to Chesse and said Chesse this is a chance holding belt for four years guy is catching up let's do it for public and we came to negotiation come to the table discuss and as I, as I said in the beginning i'm thankful to, to, to these two gentlemen for making it possible it's for the events it's for the legacy it's a family for the boxing fanatic to come out and watch a wonderful and beautiful fight they have for them hmm. all right Arnold. well alan sorry we'll take a short break and when we are back we'll uh, speak more with uh, winston and alan on uh, the promotion We were around when the deed was first signed. We were around when the first car engine roared. We were around when the very first was crowned. Through devastations, jubilant celebrations, and the milestones. We will continue to be around to bring you all the stories first. Welcome back. Good evening once again. Uh, you're watching the sport, uh, Time Sport with, uh, on the Fiji Times online page. Of course, we're talking to Winston Hill and Alan Kumar on uh, the two-way boxing promotion that's uh, next week. A lot of hype uh, again about this fight, Winston. Uh, that uh, teaser we had about that, uh, about that promotion, uh, Chess is saying that he will uh, take it to the deep waters. And uh, I mean, of course, you've spoken about it already. But how, how did you, your fans, your family react to it? Um, it was a bit of a laughing moment for us. Uh, my dad gives me a call and he says, uh, it's funny, uh, a guy from the Highlands will drown a uh, commercial scuba diver uh, in deep waters. And um, so it was a bit of a laughing matter for us. Um, but, you know, credit to Chesse for articulating as he did and uh, making it known that uh, you know it's, it's just a, it's, a, it's just a figure of speech um, he has been in deep waters saying that he's gone the full 10 12 rounds um, something that I have not done so in case you don't understand what he meant by that he wants to take me into deep waters into the into the championship rounds 9 10 rounds and really test me uh, in that area so uh, Although I haven't gone past three rounds as per my amateur career, I have been training really hard for 15 rounds, uh, really pushing my physical capacity to the limits and, you know, just making sure that fitness is not an issue. There's been mental training as well. And, uh, you know, this all comes down to the four pillars of boxing. You've got uh, physical fitness and conditioning. You've got mental resilience and discipline. You've got respect and uh, sportsmanship. And then the fourth, which is, it's going to come to mind. But yeah, there, there are four pillars of, uh, of boxing. And uh, the last one that, um, that I always keep at heart is um, respect and sportsmanship. I did say that, uh, you know, at the end of the day, this is sports. And respect to Chessie for coming out. I'm not his friend. Um, and uh, I, will, I will make it known. Uh, as soon as that first bell goes um, but you know as much uh, back and forth words have been exchanged um, I want him to walk out of the ring healthy uh, he's got a family that he has to feed and um, he's got a long life ahead uh, so do I so you know we want to put on a good show for for the people of Fiji and uh, walk out of there healthy to fight another day Every boxer who prepares for a fight has a strategy. Uh, just say an experienced boxer coming in with uh, so much experience. I'm pretty sure you, you, you respect that going into a fight against a champion. Without revealing much uh, about your strategy, how are you going to take on this fight? Are you planning to end it early from your perspective or you want to go the full 10 rounds? I did say I want to go the full 10 rounds, although I won't give him too much of a chance. This is Fiji's champion for four years. Uh, if it goes to the scorecards, there is a chance the judges would give it to him. So I will do everything in my power to win each and every round. And uh, 
if opportunity presents himself, I will quick draw and lights out Sally. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm training hard and if he loses focus for a second, I'll, I will be in range and I will take that quick shot and I will put his lights out. Um, so, Chesse Ravundi, listen up, man. Stay focused. I will know in that ring if you smoked a cigarette within the last eight weeks, if you had kava, if you had beer, if you had fast food, if you stayed up late, if you did any funny thing in the last eight weeks, I will find out in that ring. I promise you. I promise you, bro. There you go. Your love for pancakes has been the talk of town as well. <laughs> we still, there's a lot of people talking about it. How much do you love pancakes, by the way? Uh, it's, a, it's a weekend tradition where uh, my missus makes pancakes. So um, <laughs> what I say, a motto that I keep close to my heart is if you cannot overcome yourself, how can you overcome others? You have to overcome your own little lusts, your own little desires. You have to overcome yourself. So this is something that I enjoy, pancakes. Yeah, I enjoy cover with the mates. I enjoy a drink with my old man. Um, all these things I've stopped. Um, overcoming my own self and really dialing in on that discipline, sacrificing what I enjoy. Um, I've sacrificed a lot of time away from my uh, little girl. It will be her birthday on the Wednesday before the fight. So, you know, there's a lot of motivation. There's a lot of emotions stirring up, but we're staying focused. We're staying dialed in at, uh, you know, at the goal of claiming Fiji's title. And it doesn't stop there. You know, there's, there's more things beyond that. Um, regional titles, international fights, but that's another topic for another time. Mm. While you've, have, while you've had an amazing uh, amateur career, you've started your professional career on a high with a second round knockout win. This is a big fight for you, if you think about it. You win, doors open for you overseas. I mean, if there's anyone left in the country to fight, they will surely be after you. But uh, a loss would be, would be a damaging uh, thing on your record, on your professional record. So I, I bet there, there's a bit of pressure about that as well. There is some pressure, you know, uh, if, uh, if it ends in a loss for me. But, you know, the, the spirit of boxing and the resilience that I've built up, it's, uh, you, don't, you don't lose, really. You only learn. Although you may not win, you still learn a lot more. And um, I've learned over the lessons that only the fights that I would lose, I learned the most lessons out of it because I would retrack, retrace my steps, see what went wrong, see how I can improve. When I win, it's like, woohoo, big party. Forget about it, how the fight went, you know. Um, but the losses are the ones that make you reflect and uh, improve on. So, um, you know, as much of, uh, of uh, pressure there is about losing this fight, you know, I've, I've learned to lose and I've learned to bounce back. And there's only one way when you're hitting rock bottom and that's up. Winston, uh, before we wrap it, wrap it up with Alan, uh, your final words uh, for Chesse and, of course, the thousands of fans, thousands of fans who are waiting uh, for June 10th. To everybody out there, come down and watch a spectacular night of boxing on the 10th of June at the FMF Gymnasium. This is going to be fireworks. I hope it lasts for 10 rounds. Uh, Chesse Ravundi, you've been champion for four years, mate. Time to put that belt on the line. I am ready for you, boy. I will teach you how to box, and if you want to brawl, I will teach you how to brawl. If you made anything, any funny decisions over the last eight weeks, I will find out. And we'll see who swims in deep waters. And no drums. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, uh, a lot of people are wanting to know where they can get tickets, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty sure with the demand that's uh, on right now, uh, you have limited number of tickets. Maybe you could reveal the information of where tickets can be brought from and from where, and how much are the ticket prices at your event? It's currently in sale at uh, Sports Hall uh, Nasori Branch, Nakasi, Damodo and uh, Waimandu Branch Suba. And uh, tickets price at sitting side is $100, uh, farting side is $50, and, uh, and grandstand is $30 with children $15 for grandstand. Demand is high, there's a uh, lot of hype is around. Uh, sorry to say, the seating capacity is 2000 that's what we can accommodate at the moment, and that amount of ticket will be printed to be sold. Uh, just a message to the fans, Please purchase your ticket beforehand 
we don't to be disappointed to retain you from the main gate when come on 10 June. Uh, as Winston have said, there's a lot of hype. Chess have said his word. The boxes are ready. All other boxes is ready. On this note, I'll to thank my sponsor, FMF, and thank Lucy Hill Promotion, uh, as I said in my last speech, for setting up pathway for specific boxes. As you know, Masin Warawala is coming to face Nathan Singh. That's a way for here for open. We'll continue to add value to it, work together. He's a promoter, he's a boxer, but for us, we work in favor of boxing for the sake of the fans, for the sake of the boxers, help them. They have a family. We come 10 June, the spectators will feel the atmosphere, the platform we have set. We'll try our best to match that platform as well. It's not to compete, but we're here to deliver best and ability for boxing fans and everyone. So, boxing fans, grab your tickets at Sports World. It will be on sale at uh, these four branches. Uh, we are planning to see how we can accommodate the rest of boxing fans to get the ticket. It will be announced in coming days. So far, yes, that's it. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you very much, uh, Winston, once again. There you guys, the man himself, Winston Hill. Uh, just to give a heads up, we are trying our best to get both the boxes together for a show next week. What a show that will be, you having Winston on one side and Chess on the other. We'll see who, who misses pancakes more or who takes uh, who for drowning. So that's something for look forward to. Remember, mark the date, June 10th at the FMF Gymnasium. Amazing bouts, seven uh, professional bouts are for grabs, some international flavor there as well. Be sure if you can't make it, remember uh, to follow our updates and uh, latest updates on our Facebook, Twitter handles. And of course, uh, get a, grab a copy of the Fiji Times every day as we have something on the promotion every day le leading up to the event on June 10th. Until we meet again, it's there.